hello students in this video i'll be discussing about the elementary arc length the volume the area and the volume now to begin with let us consider the position vector r which is a function of u v and w once we make the substitution so dr will be do r by do u into du plus do r by do v into dv plus do r by do w into dw now we know that E u will be one by h one to r by do u e v. This is one by h two to r by do v and e w. This is one by h three. do r by do w therefore we can substitute these in dr and write them as h1 du eu plus h2 dv ev plus h3 dw E W. Now, using this, we can define the elementary arc length, elementary area, and elementary volume. Now, if S is the arc length, then D S is. d s squared is d r dot d r so d s squared will be h1 squared d u squared plus h2 squared d v squared plus h3 squared dw squared now if we consider an infinitesimally small parallelepiped so we have so we have a u curve here
So this would be the U curve, the V curve, the W curve. So the tangents along the U curve, V curve, and the W curve. So the elementary values, this will be H1, DU, EU, H2, DV, EV, and H3, DW, EW. Now, the area of each face, we can evaluate the cross product of the two vectors, two co-terminal vectors. The magnitude of that will give us the area of the parallelopiped. Therefore, the area of each face can be evaluated as follows. Now, the area of, say, we'll call this as DA1. DA1 will be magnitude of the vectors h1 du eu cross h2 dv ev which will be equal to h1 h2 du dv Since this is a right-handed rectangular system, we have the cross product to be EW. So we get H1, H2, DU, DV. Similarly, the other two faces, say for example, DA2, and this we call it as DA3, DA2 will be H2, H3, DV, DW. And the face DA3 will be equal to H1, H3, DU, DW. Now the volume of the parallel of paper is given by the box product. So DV is the box product of H1, DU, EU, H2, DV, EV. H3, DW, EW. So this will be H1, H2, H3, DU, DV, DW into the box product of EU, EV, EW. Now the box product of these three vectors will be equal to 1. So the volume element will be H1, H2, H3. DU, DV, DW. Now, in cylindrical coordinates, we have U replaced with rho, V replaced with theta, and W replaced with Z. So ds squared will be, now here h1 is 1, h2 is rho, h3 is 1. So we have du squared. We'll be making use of this expression here.
so we have d s squared equal to d rho squared plus rho squared d theta squared plus d z squared the area element will be rho d rho d theta d a2 will be rho d theta d z and d rho d z the volume element will be rho d rho d theta d z in the spherical coordinates we have u replaced with r v replaced with theta and w replaced with phi h1 will be 1 h2 will be rho h3 will be rho sin theta so ds squared will be dr squared plus so h2 here should be r and h3 should be r sin theta so r squared d theta squared plus r squared sin squared theta d phi squared the area elements will be r dr d theta r squared sin theta dr d phi and r sin theta sorry this should be d theta d phi this should be dr d phi the volume element dv will be r squared sin theta dr d theta d phi